Hello friends, I'm Sudhir and you are enjoying the YouTube channel English Carnival, a journey of learning with joy. Friends, today we are going to explore some crucial multiple choice questions based on William Byron Forbush, popular and exciting prose called Orpheus and Eurydice. Friends, as far as William Byron Forbush is concerned, he was a pastor and author and he was born on 29th Feb, 1868. friends he graduated from uh, dartmouth college in 1888 and then served as principal in amherst new hampshire in 1895 he received an honorary doctor of laws degree from hanover college indiana friends he founded the knights of king arthur in 1893 which became the center of thousands of young boys later on Friends he also worked as an editor and writer there are some titles like the queens of avalon published in 1911 then we have the coming generation published in 1912 and manual of stories published in 1915 and the present prose is taken from myths and legends of greece and rome by william byron forbush friends i am very much sure that you all will definitely enjoy the multiple choice questions that we are going to discuss in this video based on this popular prose but friends before we proceed as usual i request you to subscribe to this channel by just pressing the subscribe button and hitting the bell icon so that you may get the notifications of uploaded such academic videos on this particular channel called english carnival in coming days friends here the story of uh, orpheus and eurydice is one of the most famous greek myths wherein a musician called orpheus travels to the underworld in the hope of reviving his uh, deceased wife named eurydice friends their wedding was doomed from the you know beginning when it was not approved by him Uh, who is uh, known as the god of uh, marriage and it is known to all of us friends here uh, eurydice dies as soon as uh, the nuptials end and uh, uh, orpheus uh, becomes devastated and uh, goes mad but uh, they are reunited after death and it is shown uh, in this prose at the end or the last part of this prose friends here Uh, uh without uh, you know uh, any kind of uh, uh, what we can say um, further uh, discussion or further details in in short i would like to state that as far as this prose is concerned it is very much uh, touching very emotional one and uh, there are a lot of uh, you know uh, things and elements that we uh, find in the myths so friends uh, without delay let us move and see some important multiple choice questions based on william byron forbush popular prose called orpheus and eurydice so friends let us move towards the first question the first question we have forbush was born on dash options are 19th february 1868 20th february 1868 19th march 1868 and 21st february 1869 The correct answer is B, and it is twentieth February, eighteen sixty-eight. Second question: The story Orpheus and Eurydice is taken from dash. Options are A, myths and legends of Greece and Rome, myths and legends of Greece, myths and legends of Rome, and D, myths and legends. Correct answer is A, and it is taken from myths and legends of Greece and Rome. We have the next question. Question number three. W B Forbush founded dash options are A Knights of Arthur B Knights of King C Knights of King Arthur and D none of the above correct answer is C and it is Knights of King Arthur question number 4 we have Knights of King Arthur was founded in dash options are A 1890 191891 1891, 1891, 1891, 1891, 1891, 1891, 1891, and it was founded in 1893 Question number 5 we have dash is the name of Orpheus wife options are A Elaine B Elaine C Eurydice D Eloise correct answer is C and it is Eurydice Question number 6 we have 
Which musical instrument did Orpheus play? Options are A guitar, B drums, C flute and D harp. Correct answer is D and it is harp. Question number 7 we have how did Orpheus wife die? Options are A from an accident, B murdered, C from an illness and D from snake bite. Correct answer is D and it is from snake bite. Question number 8 we have what did Orpheus stop doing after his wife's death? Options are A eating, B fighting, C singing and D all of the above. Correct answer is C and it is singing. The next question we have that was the name of the three headed dog. Options are A Cerberus, B Charlie, C Cadmus and D. Correct answer is A and it was Cerberus. Question number 10 we have what did Or Orpheus use to get past the dog? Options are killing the dog using a knife, killing the dog using a gun, and C singing and playing the harp and D none of the above. Correct answer is C and it is singing and playing the harp. Question number 11 we have. What condition did the king impose on Orpheus to get his wife back? Options are A to hold her hand, B to not look back, C to play with her and D to look at her always. Correct answer is B and it was to not look back. Question number 12 we have what happened with the test for Orpheus? Options are A he succeeded, B he failed, C he didn't try and D there was no test. Correct answer is B and it is he failed. Question number 13 we have, Orpheus came back and dashed shortly after. Options are A, ruled the kingdom, B, remarried, C, died and D, none of the above. Correct answer is C and it is, he died. Question number 14 we have, the eyes of the monstrous dog were like dash. Options are A, sky, B, diamond, C, stones and D, fire. Correct answer is D and it is fire. The next question is, question number 15. What do we learn from this story? Options are always be happy, listen to the directions, do not look back, don't bring back the dead. The correct answer is B and it is listen to directions. Question number 16 we have, Orpheus finds the king and queen in the dash. Options are A, great hall, B, farm, C, on the bank of river and D, none of the above. Correct answer is A and it is great hall. Question number 17 we have, Orpheus, you have made me feel happy with your sweet music. Who said it in this prose? Options are A the queen, B, the king, C, Eurydice and D, the dog. Correct answer is B and it is the king. Question number 18 we have, let her go from this gloomy place and live with me on the bright earth again. Who said it? Options are A, Orpheus, B, Eurydice, C, the king and D, the queen. Correct answer is A and it is Orpheus. Question number 19 we have, Dash says, O Orpheus, Orpheus, Orpheus. Why did you look back? Options are A the king, B the queen, C the dog and D Eurydice. Correct answer is D and it was said by Eurydice. Question number 20 we have, where did the dog stop when Orpheus was walking towards the great gateway? Options are A near the king, B behind the gate, great gateway, C in front of the great gateway and D near the queen. Correct answer is C and it is in front of the great gateway. Question number 21 we have, Dash is the author of the coming generation. Options are A. Shaw, B. Nathaniel Hathorn, C. William Byron Forbush and D. Coventry Petmore. Correct answer is C and it is William Byron Forbush. Question number 22 we have, William Byron Forbush died on Dash. Options are 21st October 1927, 22nd October 1927, 23rd October 1927 and 24th October 1927. Correct answer is C and he was died on 23rd October 1927. So friends, all these are the multiple choice questions and their answers based on William Byron Forbush popular prose called Orpheus and Eurydice. I hope friends you have liked and understood all the multiple choice questions and their answers discussed in this video. If you have really liked it friends, I request you to like it, share it among your friends near and dear ones as well. If you are a new viewer to this channel, then I request you to subscribe to this channel by just pressing the subscribe button and hitting the bell icon so that you may get the notifications of uploaded such academic videos on this particular channel called English Carnival in coming days. So friends, we'll meet soon again with a different video on different piece of literature. Till then friends, just take care of yourself and be happy. Thank you very much.